I'm torn between being really curious and wanting to try something. After all this time, seeing so much, going through so much, I want to try one thing. But then I don't want to reinforce the idea that women have to pretend to be younger than they are. Can't we just be as old as we are? Isn't that enough? So I'm really, really torn. I mean, I nearly cancelled this. I mean, I, I have to go through with it because I'm here now and I am really curious. And also, if I hate it, and I hate how it makes me feel about myself, I never have to do it again. Hi, Dr. Nina. Hello. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Hi. Please, have a seat. Make okay. yourself comfortable. Where do we start? Right, so, what brought you here? How can I help you? So, I've been doing a lot of thinking about plastic mm -hmm. surgery, okay. about why women have it, what they have, yeah. and what are the consequences. Yeah. And I've just seen so much and have had really a, a it's been very complicated because mm -hmm. it's a complicated subject. So I've got lots of questions. Yes. Um, have you had Botox? Yes. Yes. Many times. And yes. it's fine? It's a prescription only toxin, so it's something that obviously you can only do with a qualified doctor or dentist or nurse. It has been used actually in medicine for many years. Uh, they started to use it about 50, 60 years ago uh, to cure uh, muscle spasm. Um, and then they actually realized as a side effect that there, it was actually softening the lines. Do you think that you can be a feminist and have Botox and fillers and plastic surgery? Absolutely. I am I am a feminist and I'm a total believer that everything that you know I do or we can do to ourselves, as long as it's done for the right reasons, it can actually empower you so much. What are the right reasons to have Botox? <laughs> well, Whenever I assess my, my patient, I can always tell, just from the consultation, uh, what are the reasons behind it. So if someone wants to have it because they want to completely change themselves or uh, completely change uh, their faces or they're not happy with themselves and they think by having Botox that will solve some inside issues, then I'm like, aha, uh -huh, you're in the wrong place. Sorry, I can't do it. Everyone says, watch out because Botox is the gateway drug to surgery. Is, it, is Botox the beginning of a slippery slope? Right, so it totally depends on yourself. So I've, I've been doing, I call it baby Botox, so it's a very small dose of myself for many, many years. And uh, you can, um, I know, I'm just gonna keep doing the minimal. So no, I, I really don't, don't think so. All right, those are my main questions. Thank you, yes. what's next? I need you to fill, please, a medical history. Uh, so I need to have all your details and all everything about your health, just to make sure you're suitable to have it. Uh, if you've got any questions, please let me know. Um, and if you're happy, then if you can just sign down here mm -hmm. and they will be lovely. Okay. After going through my medical and safety details with Dr. Nina, that's when the nerves really started to kick in. Can I be a feminist and have a procedure like this done? Will it change my face? And will I like the results? Is this a slippery slope? And am I doing this in the name of research or vanity? With all these thoughts going through my head, there was one in particular I had to ask Dr. Nina. Do you know what I'm worried about? I'm more nervous, not about the needles, but about whether I'm going to be able, whether I'm going to feel fake afterwards. No, I will, because I'm going to inject so little. You no, but do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know when you know that you've got the Botox in you, is mm. that going to make, is that going to affect me in how I feel about myself? Am I, am I just reinforcing the idea that women can't get older? Or is this just part of being a woman? Fringes are being loaded. Back here. Great. Right, so I'm just going to start to inject your, your frown line. So you're just going to feel a very tiny pinprick coming, and that's it. Fine. Okay. I've had two children. Exactly. I can do you're this. ready for everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so when you're ready, yeah, just deep breath in. 
and read out just a tiny sharp scratch. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well done. Tiny sharp. That's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tiny sharp again. Perfect. And tiny sharp. Perfect. So one arrow is done. It's a bit stingy. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And I'm just going to go on your forehead. So again, just a tiny sharp scratch. Tiny sharp again. Tiny sharp scratch. Sorry. That's okay. great. Tiny sharp. Tiny sharp scratch. Perfect. You okay? Mm -hmm. Do some people hate it? Uh, Do most people are fine with it? No, I mean, yeah, I've got like maybe one or two clients that are like, oh, no, again, it's that time again. But then they all get used to it and because it takes so quick. God, the things we do, the things we do as women. It's endless. I mean, oh, yeah. No. So now just around your eyes, so when you're ready, just a very relaxed, tiny sharp scratch. Well done. And tiny sharp again. Sensitive on that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's great. So one is that just on the other side for me. Thank you. And tiny sharp, well done. And tiny sharp. Perfect. All done. That's that it? Yes. Are we done? Oh yes, we are. I mean, in my mind. Yeah. The way I'm making peace with myself with this, mm -hmm. because I felt so I felt so confused last night, knowing mm -hmm. I was coming here. Yeah. And I felt like Am I just reinforcing the idea that women have to pretend like they're not getting older? The world tells us that we must be ashamed of getting older. It, am I just playing into that? And then I looked at my, I looked at my bathroom and I saw all this cream and mm. my hairbrush and you know I dye my hair and I thought, if I can just keep it as this yeah. and nothing else and no yes. more, maybe this is just an extension for face cream for me. Totally. Or going to the gym or dyeing my hair. But it has to stop after this. It can't be a slippery slope. I can make peace with this. That's fine. But I can't if, I, if this becomes something else. So there we go. Botox is in the face. I still feel really conflicted. Am I just reinforcing the idea that women have to be ashamed of getting older? Why should I have to be ashamed of wrinkles? I am getting older. Isn't that great? So I feel like I'm just playing that game. But on the other hand, maybe I'll love it. Maybe it's no different from wearing sunscreen and going to the gym and dyeing my hair and getting a spray tan. Maybe it's no, no big deal. So I just, I need to think about it. I need to reflect on it. And I think when it kicks in, in a couple of days, that will probably help make my decision. But am I just falling into the vanity pit again? I don't know. So I think I need just to have a think about it. It's so weird. It's so weird that I've had Botox. I've got this Botox in my face. Okay. Ugh. It's been about two weeks since I had the Botox and I feel really conflicted about it because on one hand, every so often someone tells me that I look younger and well slept and that really feeds my vanity gremlin. My vanity gremlin eats that up with a spoon and it makes me feel good about myself but I know the reason it makes me feel good about myself is because society tells women that they have to stay young, defy gravity and be pleasing for everyone to look at. And as a feminist, I want to break free of that. I want women to not feel like they have to be ornaments for other people's enjoyment. And so in by having the Botox, am I really just contradicting myself? So I go round and round and round and round in circles. And what I'm realizing is that there isn't really a clear-cut solution to this because in reality one size doesn't fit all. It is a very confusing subject and what I'd really love to know is what do you think?